Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. Oops, bad. All right, so let's see what we got going on for Scorpio. Scorpio, this will not resonate with everyone, so please take what fits and leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart once they are posted. And if you like how I get on with my readings, please hit that like button. All right, so let's see. <sighs> let's see. What is going on? What's in the energy for Scorpio? Excuse me. Okay, Scorpio. You have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Uh, sweetheart, are you in your head or feeling some type of way about a new person that is coming into your life? Are you worried about moving forward with this person? Did someone show up or are they going to show up? I think you got somebody that is about to appear in your life if they have not popped up already. Um, you got a new opportunity. Yay. No past energy. <laughs> I like this. Everybody else besides Aries, I think it is, has gotten uh, somebody coming up from the past. All right. So it looks like you have someone that is actually coming up in your life here and you are worried. Um, if the, what is this person coming in with? Okay. Are we going to move forward here? I think you're um, literally going to take your time to evaluate the situation. Look at this person. See what type of energy that they're bringing to the table as you should. Okay. And uh, yeah, this kind of looks like this may be a blessing coming towards you. Okay. Um, oh, Lord. Yeah. Kind of looks like it, but it looks like you are going to take your time in this situation. Not really invest. All right. Um, I think you're really going to take a look at this person here. Scorpio, look like you might have a real one coming in here. Let's see what else is going on. You might have actually taken love off the table for yourself, sweetheart, and maybe... This is why this person is finally showing up. You may have actually um, directed your attention towards yourself, towards work, towards something, you know, outside of this. Oh, Scorpio. Oh, this is making me so happy for you. Okay, so you have the King of Pentacles in the Hierophant here. With the Eight of Pentacles, sweetheart, it looks like you got somebody coming in for show, for show, that actually wants commitment. Um, someone that's vibing on the same level as you are. This person is basically, definitely the Marian type here. Very affectionate. All right, all right, all right. This person might have been in a situation before where they were in a relationship that was... A uh, very problem problematic, a lot of drama here, and this person is definitely looking for someone um, who does not bring any of that to the table. They're looking for someone that is totally opposite from what they had. This is someone else that is also taking their time um, moving into a relationship as well. So it kind of seems like you, you and this person might be vibing on the same level here as far as your energy is concerned. Okay, not really willing to rush in. I like it. Okay, really getting to know each other on a higher level here. Let's see. This could also be someone that is... Um, Financially secure. This could be someone who actually does a lot of work, um, craftsmanship with their hands here. Yes, this person is definitely going to take a leap of faith in your direction to actually move towards this as well. Hmm. 
this person is going to come in with a solid offer. I see you are going to be very, very happy here. I think both of you are going to compliment each other very well. Yes, taking your time, being patient. This is something that you um, have been manifesting in your life here, okay? By actually um, pulling back your energy, um, stop looking for you know, a relationship here, basically focusing on yourself, focusing on healing, uh, working, building your own foundation here, turning that energy inward, healing from the past uh, situations that you were going through, especially if any of the past readings have been uh, resonating with you. It looks like because you took love off of the table and focused more on what it is that you need to heal within yourself, You've manifested a relationship. Your person is able to come in towards you now. Let's see. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Absolutely. This is something that's going to last for a minute. This is something stable. I like it. You might have some money coming in here as well. And then on top of that, you have been blocking out anything that is not up to par anything that is um you know not what you want not up to the standards here you also set some boundaries here as well all right you might be a little bit slow to you know show some emotion here like i said some of you possibly been single for a minute here oh my goodness this reading is making my sinuses move yeah okay yeah, you might have been single here for a minute. You might have been blocking out the 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 pages here and even the nights you you waiting for this king to come in. There's no gender in tarot, so this could just be the energy. Somebody that's, you know, stepping up to the plate. Somebody that wants the same thing that you want here. Someone who can hold their own. Financially secure, emotionally secure, emotionally mature here as well. What? Okay, I like it. I like it. Halt, Alto, you're not settling for less. You're settling for, you know, requesting God's best here. And this is what's coming towards you. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll go ahead and use these. This might kind of kind of shock you just a little bit. So it might... Um, you might find yourself up at night thinking about this person, like wondering, okay, like, I don't know, should I give this? Should I should I give to this situation? I think it's safe to say to go ahead and dip your toe in the water, sweetheart. Check check the temperature. Um, if anything, don't put any expectations on this situation. Go with the flow, relax, enjoy, okay? Yeah, see, this is what this is, see? Okay. There's some hesitancy here. All right. You may kind of think that this person is coming in as the others. This is what, okay. This is the anxiety here that I see, okay. Someone here is stressing that this person is just coming in, you know, for, you know, for, for a moment here. You're not thinking that this might be your person. There's no potential here. All right, um, you got to get out of this mindset here, sweetheart, because this person is coming in as somebody really reliable, stable, knowing what they want, okay, willing to invest. And like I said, you have put energy into yourself, working on yourself, and I get it because you've taken a long time to actually get to where you are. Leave him alone. Sorry. You've taken a long time to get to where you are. You found inner peace here. You're healing. Although every once in a while, you might get a little twinge of what happened in the past, but that's okay. That's a part of healing, okay? Reflecting and then moving forward from this. Don't look at where you, what you've been through. Look at how far you've come, okay? And allow love into your life. You've possibly taken love off of the table. Close yourself off here, all right? That's okay. That's okay. But there's forward movement here. Somebody is definitely coming towards you, all right? And I do apologize. I got the sniffles now. All right, let's see. Give me more. Mm -hmm. You got somebody that's rushing in towards you, sweetheart. This person, look, I'm going to put it to you like this. This person is taking their time, okay? 
taking their time um, as far as getting into a relationship. But this person is going to tell you, hey, you know what? I really like your energy. Um, I like how you think. I like your, your, you know, your spirit. You seem like you're very cool. You're down to earth. Um, I can really vibe with you. You know what I'm saying? As far as them rushing in towards you, they're going to make it known that, hey, you know what? I think we have something in common here. I really like how you get out. You know what I'm saying? Just, just your whole vibe is really cool. Um, you might start to notice that this person might take more time out talking to you, um, about anything, you know, you can hold a conversation about anything, um, life, love, space, whatever it is, you gel with this person and it's really cool. Okay. So this person may end up telling you, Hey, you know what? Um, yeah, I kind of want to, you know, let's see how this dating thing goes here. Okay. So yeah. Um, what you don't see is that this is, th you got the two of cups here with this person, okay? So it took a long time for this to show up in your life, but it's coming here, and I think it's going to be very unexpected. This is, act oh my goodness, this is actually going to balance out here. Be patient. Be patient with it because you got the lovers here as well, okay? I'm telling you. Somebody here is headed for a relationship. You've done a lot of work on yourself. And now it's paying off. Source is like, okay, I see you in a better head space, a better heart space. You're open, receptive. And now I'm going to bring something towards you, okay? Absolutely. Look. Scorpio, get up out of here, okay? Don't be afraid to, to, to get back out there, sweetheart. All right, all right? Just put yourself back out there. Um, like I said, don't go into it with any expectations. Just enjoy the time, enjoy the company and things like that. Um, don't put pressure on yourself or pressure on this person. Look, if you coming in here, we got to have X, Y, and Z. This has got to lead to a, a relationship, a, a partnership here. Don't put that type of stress on yourself and also on this person, okay? You don't want to scare this person off. And you also don't want to scare yourself off too. If this person is coming at you like this, look. This is what I want, and this is what's going to happen here. If you're not leading towards this, we can't do this, okay? Give yourself time to actually um, heal into a relationship, okay? Like I said, I think your person has dealt with some drama in a past relationship, too. So kind of, kind of seems like both of you guys are, are kind of mirroring in each other with your past relationships, okay? Both of you possibly had someone that did not... Um, care for you properly, didn't love on you properly here, okay? Brought drama into your life. Um, you possibly had to fight to find yourself again, okay? To heal. And remember who you were before all that traumatic experience happened to you, okay? So just be patient with yourself and also with this person as well. Enjoy the, the, the moments that you have with this person, okay? And uh, don't question it. Oh, where did you go? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. All right, you got the six, six of Pentacles. All right. With the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so like I said, um, both of you have dealt with people in the past that were overgiven in a situation and didn't reciprocate here. So now you got someone that is not only going to show you love and admiration here, this person is literally going to give equally to this situation, okay? And you are too. I honestly believe this. Yes. Somebody's coming in and tell you this. You guys are not at swords. King of Wands, this person is very attracted to you as well. They think that you work well together. Mm -hmm. But I also see that both of you are very guarded. Got your suspicions up. But somebody is going to be bold enough to make this move. If this person doesn't straight out come out and tell you, hey, you know what? I want to, um, I want us to kind of get together in a relationship and, you know, be exclusive here. This person, you may find that this person, you know, starts to ask you out more or, um, they may strike up conversations with you more. This person is trying to see where your head is at, really. 
you know so yeah this could actually be somebody that you work with i don't know could be but man oh man oh man i see that you're gonna be very happy here very very happy however there is a little bit of someone thinking about the past okay the things that happened in the past we want to turn this upside down so we can get out of this energy don't worry about what happened in the past sweetheart it's in the past okay there's nothing you can do about it the only thing that you can do is recognize what you went through okay and if you start noticing red flags just kind of back up your energy okay and see where this goes like i said take your time sweetheart this is going to hit you like a ton of bricks because there's love 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 all over here you might actually find yourself shocked because you might find yourself um falling for this person okay so just be careful control your emotions okay Make sure that you're taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. Be considerate to this person as well, but don't overgive in the situation, okay? And if you feel that you're not getting what you deserve in this relationship, the situation, kind of back it up, back it up, okay? But I definitely see commitment here. And I do see that both of you, too, have learned some lessons from the past, okay? And a lot of you, oh my goodness, I think both of you have your guard up, okay? You're listening for the truth, waiting to see the truth here yeah and someone here has been single for a long time possibly you and this person here may have dated a few people but not really invested in this situation and something about you has really piqued this person's interest okay let's see mm. okay yes 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 Somebody is very attracted to you, too. This person is showing up as a king of wands right now. They're very passionate. Uh, they know what they want, and they're definitely going after it with the judgment card, okay? I see what I want. Scorpio is bringing everything to the table that I like, you know, and I'm getting ready to invest in this situation. You feel like home to this person. Very, very familiar, okay? Um, you possibly, like I said, mirror this person's... Um, this person's energy, you have what they want and they're very comfortable with it. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. And I see both of you have, like I said, have been through some things in the past. So when this person comes in, it might kind of throw both of you off like, oh my God, there's a bit of confusion here. Okay, I've been through this X, Y, and Z, and I thought this person was for me, and it was not. It turned out to be fool's gold, okay, and I got disappointed here. Been through some stuff in the past where I got, you know, my heart broken, but you know what? I remember what happened, but I'm not letting it keep me from moving forward, okay? I'm just, I recognize the red flags, okay? So you got your guard up here, and like I said, some of you are kind of closed off, mm. but there is some type of, there's going to be something that draws you to this person. You're not going to be able to let go of it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a pinnacles. Okay. Just be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Somebody's definitely, you know, like I said, you're looking for the truth in this situation before you invest all your time, emotions, and things here. You're a big guarded, closed off, you know, from anything that's coming in negative, like I said, you know, but uh, you, you, got, you got some love coming here, and this is an upstanding person, so I think you're going to be able to put your guard down here, sweetheart, all right, and... Uh, slowly but surely move into something that's a bit more comfortable for you okay in other words you might have been in scrunching your feet in some tight shoes and it was uncomfortable to walk now you can put on some house shoes or walk barefoot spread your toes you're gonna be all right you are going to be okay i don't know why that analogy came out but yeah that's what i got so i'm running with it all right so all right i see some joy some love happening for you New season popping up here. Let's see. Give me four. Yeah, somebody's closed off. <laughs> but I see you moving past this. Yeah, guard it. You got your fences your up. I get it. 
And it's not only you, it's this person too. Kind of seems like this is a good person. That fell off the bottom of the deck, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. Yep, eight of coins. You're guarded because you've done a lot of work on yourself. You're not bringing in anybody that just wants to hit it and quit it or just, you know, seeing whatever it is that you bring to the table financially. All right. This person is definitely going to go after what they want. This person finds you very attractive, very alluring. Um, you're possibly a go-getter. You, um, Whatever it is that you do, you look damn good doing it, okay? You don't take no for an answer when it comes to what you want in your life. You put your foot down, okay? You're not settling for less. Like I said, this person sees that you are very stable. You're about your bag, you know, your money and things like that here. This person is also in their head towards you as well. So just like you're contemplating about them, they're thinking about you too. Are you going to bring stability into their life? Can they trust you? Okay. And this person is trying to make a judgment call. Okay. Before they move. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Look at this. I think this is both hitting you both unexpected. I did not expect to feel this way about Scorpio. So you definitely have somebody coming in that's going to bring something stable. Yes. Look at this. Justice is coming for both of you. Okay. New beginning, brand new passion and beginning in love. Not only in the sex department, sweetheart, but you guys are, are going to mesh very, very well. And this is going to be a higher level of commitment here. Absolutely. Somebody's got to make a decision to let go, release, let source step in and move this forward. Okay. Because both of you are coming up as marriage material. I like this. I like it a lot. All right. So let's see. We'll do these. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. All right. See you recovering from the past, sweetheart. It's okay. It's all right. You are healing from the past. And uh, yeah, now <laughs> it's time to move forward. Source is telling you don't stop now. What you've asked for is coming. All right. It's here. Or oh, it's about to show up. Whoever this is for. I am so glad that this is happening for you. This is saying, release your ex. It is time has come to clear your energy. Absolutely. Like I said, someone has some blocks up because of what happened in the past. Someone here, although you've been wanting someone to come into your life, you've gotten comfortable being alone. Okay. Um, it's kind of crazy because what I'm getting here is that although you want someone in your life, you, you're very protective about your space. I totally get it. And you've gotten kind of comfortable where you are. So now when this person comes in, and this is both of you on both sides, it kind of causes some type of anxiety here. Okay. Like, oh my God, um, I'm starting to feel some things. I'm attracted to this person. I don't know if this is safe. Is it safe? Is it safe? Dip your toe in the water, sweetheart. All right. Don't stop. Don't let this stop you. It says engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So like I said, with the Hierophant showing up here so many times, sweetheart, this could definitely, definitely move on to, um, yeah, a commitment, a marriage here. Okay. So just take your time. Enjoy the ride. Like I said, you know, and do what it do. Let's see. Is there anything here about this person? What you guys gone through? What can you expect? Give me any information. Can I have three more, please? I like it. Let's see. Can I get two more, please, about this situation? Ooh! One more, please. Uh-huh. See? Look. I'm going to tell you something. My gosh. Everything that I just said about what's happening here just came out in these cards. Look, both of you went through some type of betrayal, okay? You're having an issue trusting in this situation, okay? But the thing is, is take your time, sweetheart. Take your time. 
Um, I don't think you're going to have to worry about this situation here. I think that both of you have actually healed from the past or are still recovering from the past, learning how to trust not only yourself, your judgment, your intuition, but learning how to trust everyone, knowing that everyone that you've dealt with or that you're going to deal with is not a snake like your past person, okay? There's a lot of attraction here. All right, so like I said, with the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands both showing up here, you two are basically attracted to each other, not only mentally, but sexually and, and spiritually as well. And through communication, there's going to be a lot of communication here, um, being very open and honest with each other. And I do believe that this is going to uh, lead to a higher level of commitment, okay? All right, my love, I am going to leave that right there. Good luck for whoever this is. I'm so glad that you got a good reading. Oh, my God. Because, whoo, everybody else or besides Aries has been off the chain. But anyway, thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate you. All right, bye.